Do you struggle with bar chords? I'm gonna show you guys that it's not as hard as you actually think to play some bar chords. What is up everybody, Joseph Allen Music here. You can download my free guitar book on how to play finger style and you want the tabs and all the practice tracks, you can also get that in the description below. Do you wanna play finger style guitar? Click the link below to how to become a finger stylist in 30 days with just 10 minutes a day. Without further ado, let's dive into this video. All right, now that we've covered the F chord, we're gonna be going into kind of the A shape for the B flat chord and applying those same principles that we learned for the F chord to this new A shape, the B flat chord. And so let's look at some exercises and you're gonna see that's very familiar from the other ones. That's what's great about these bar chord drills. Once you learn one chord and one exercise, you can really start to relate and it just works all together in the same principle, just a different chord. Now we're gonna take the B flat bar chord that we learned from the previous video, okay? And so just remember barring your finger across on that first fret. I know it's a little difficult. And then taking that A chord, right? And just sliding it to the third fret and laying it down, just like we talked about. So we got the B flat chord. What are we gonna be looking at here? Well, we're gonna be looking at taking that F exercise. So we're gonna start with the we're going to start on the shape and so we're just going to press. I'm not worried about playing this bar chord. I'm not worried about being able to strike all the strings. If you can do that, that's great, but you don't have to. We're focusing on one note at a time. So as I go here, and again, I play with my fingers. If you want to do this with a pick, you are more than welcome to. Uh, same principle. But we're going to strike the first string, right? And we're gonna make, make we're gonna make our way down. If I get a flat there, I want it to be clean. Go back. Okay, that's all we're looking for. So all we're doing is going down the strings, right? And then we're gonna make our way back up the strings. Okay. So I'm just going down. If I get a flat, fix it, adjust, and then I'm just going back up the strings. And we're starting on the A string, the fifth string. Remember that, okay? That's the first string we're gonna start on. The first string we're gonna start on is the A string, which is the A string, and we're playing a B flat right now on the first fret. So once you do that, that's going to create a lot of, it's going to teach your hand and your brain to go, hey, I'm wanting a clear sound, and it's going to start building up strength in your hand to be able just to go like, okay, instead of like struggling, right, to play that whole chord and trying to focus on playing this whole chord, all we're looking for is the ability to just go, okay, one clear note at a time, and you're adjusting your hand. It's going to develop a lot of strength. And then you're gonna make your way. So let's kind of walk through this together. Start on the A string, ready? Nice and slow. Ready, set, go. Did you get a flat? Just adjust. Once we do it one time, we're going to go back through and then we're going to start adding those eighth notes, okay? So just doubling up. So once you do that, one time through, when you go back, right, we're going to be playing uh, a little bit faster. So we have to go done, done, done. Remember, okay? So here we go. Ready, set, go. Done, done. You get a flat, fix it, right? So putting it all together from start to finish. Okay, so let's look at this. Ready, set, go. Focusing on one 
one string at a time. I'm not worried about any of the others. I'm not worried about applying pressure to the other ones. That's all I'm doing. I'm not worried about applying pressure to any other strings. I am worried about my one note at a time. Now, if this is a little easy for you, say you're a little more experienced, a great drill, once you start getting the hang of this, is to take that bar chord and hold it out for everything. So like this, with not, uh, without muting the strings, just hold it. And then we're gonna do the double note. So you connect them, right? We've played all the way through. Okay, and you're gonna hold the note out. Don't ever take it off, do this whole exercise. Ready? Go. Now, I don't care who you are, that's gonna start really working those muscles in your hand a little bit, and if, especially if you're not used to it. So that's a good thing. Uh, you shouldn't be feeling any pain if you're doing it right. You should just be feeling tension. Uh, I know a lot of people when they play, the guitar players are like, oh, uh, tension's a bad thing, I'm, start, I'm hurting. It's like, well no, tension is not bad. Pain is bad, but a tightness and a tension Working those muscles, that's not bad. It's like when you go to you know, work out at a gym. Uh, I don't work out at a gym. Uh, I work outside in God's gym, you know, running a farm here. And so tension is not a bad thing. Pushing your body is not a bad thing. But now if you're hurt, pulled muscle. Uh, you're doing something wrong, lifting wrong with your back. Those create issues when you're playing. But uh, tight muscles is not going to be a problem for you. So uh, work your hand. Have fun with this exercise, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Please like, share, comment on this video. Be sure to check out your free book that you can download right now, How to Play Fingerstyle Guitar. Also, don't forget to check the course below, How to Become a Finger Stylist in 30 Days. If you want all the tracks, MP3s, and all the tabs for this, please find it below in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next 30 days as we do this challenge. Come on out every day to find a video on bar chords. Let the world know.